a lot more poops. If they attack me and I run away, you are allowed to laugh. <laughs> and the migratory geese. Actually they're here most of the year round these days. Hello fellas. All the kids are feeding them around here. Keep coming back. It'll be well windy innit? Sorry about that. Spent many hours in this little park, walking through, feeding the ducks, watching the ducklings. Stay too long, I'm on the way to work. Where's he gone? Come on, little man, I saw you go under. Here he comes. Da -da. <laughs> you try and hide from me. Making that noise. They're expecting their bread, but <laughs> sorry, fellas. Now, of course, if you're of a sensitive nature, you might want to mute it for a second. I'm not just now on the left, there's a small grey building, dark grey. A few years ago, a young lady was raped in there. Well, outside of it. Like I said before, Orpington is just like everywhere else. But people forgot this. Everybody's so wrapped up in their own individualism. We kind of forgot that we're all individuals within the same family. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Or is that just how it's supposed to be? That's why I, I think it's just how it's supposed to be. Once people realise it and everyone comes back together, it will change. It will change fast, I think. A lot of people won't like it. Uh, listening to Ian Neon this morning, and I... It, I've said it before as well, I, I think he's right, we have to be more compassionate with these people and we have to be ready to catch them when they fall, <laughs> when they stumble, you understand? Oh, falling over. Right, I've got to come back because you won't hear me for a minute, but I'll be back in a bit in a moment. Well, I know it's a bit windy, I'm just going to go around the bottom and as I walk away, we can have a look at this tree. Poor old sod. I mean, he's... he's Sorely abused. <laughs> He's old, man. He's a big sod. Oh, falling all over the place today. Okay, so far. Don't know if you can see him in there. I'll have a quick look again in a second. He's had his, he's had his tops and his branches chopped away. Just a shadow of his former self. There's, there's a couple of uh, giant oaks around here. I'll go and show you them at some point. It's reasonably quiet around this little bit. The main roads over there. But I just wanted to make a short one. I don't know if I'll be doing it all day again today. But uh, my son said to me this morning that he was walking to school. I think there's going to be hoverboards when I grow up, Dad, didn't you? I almost break my heart. <laughs> I'm 
sure it's the same thing my dad thought when he was his age. And my dad's like 60 now. My mum, yeah. How long is it going to be before everybody realises? Come on! And sold a fucking bag of nails. <laughs> Rusty nails. I'll have to try and, try and keep the camera angled up a bit. I keep filming the grass tonight. Sorry about that. These bloody skies, man. What is that? And it's windy as hell today and them things are not moving. How's that then? And then another time I walk around the other side of this little area here. There's the St Mary Cray River runs through here. But this here is the, the man-made part. <laughs> little side pond. I mean it might have been natural at one point but I've seen them working on it and they're trying to maintain it now then. You see a bit of graffiti. I oh, nice. I think that's a bra there. Lovely. <laughs> As I said, it looks great, but it's just not everywhere else. You go around the back of any old uh, little town and you'll find some amazing stuff. I'll tell you, one of the nicest places I've been to recently was uh, was Hive. That's got some amazing stuff there. I'm going to take my little iPod down here one day and make a little video. Old church, we didn't go down to the crypts. The beach is beautiful. They got an old town and a new side of town. If you're ever going to come on holiday to England, go to Hive, man. Little river down there. Can't see too much today. It's very overgrown. It was a project to keep our, our Cray Rivers clean. That seems to have died off again. Where is the future, man? Where is it? We all seem to be stuck in 1996 and no one's noticed. Got these little fancy gadgets in their hands and they're like, whoa, look what I got! Really? Was it Doc Brown said? You've got a whole movie studio in your hands. <laughs> and what are people doing with it? Oh, I look great, don't I? Really? Let's have a quick look at that, I've got a couple of minutes. I hope you're all well. I thank everybody for their comments. I'm sure, sorry I haven't got back to them yet. I've had uh, my niece and nephews staying for the weekend. Four of them in his total. It's been a lot of fun, but uh, I don't know, I did comment, but my, my son fell out of a tree on Sunday. He's, he's perfectly fine. I also found out last night that another nephew fell out of a window. So, well family, eh? He's fine too. But uh, yeah, I haven't managed to sit down and get back to people's comments yet. You got a little iPod you can zoom in on all this sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, Barbie McGill, hello. <laughs> Thank you for commenting. I've been watching your channel for a long time and uh, I really do like what you have to say. My little shout out to Ian, ne Ian Neon. Go check him out. And Laurie. Thank you, Laurie Gale, for always commenting and you're a very cool lady. I've got to do you a little shout out next on my little videos. Uh, Rory, I hope you're well. <laughs> Your little video last night had me cracking up. That was so funny. Oh, hello, Crow. Oh my God, I always forget Crow. The coffee show is great. Oh, I love that. Oh, I can't wait for a couple more episodes. Isn't that right, Crow? So, yes, boss. That's a little dance for me. I'm going to put a bit, of, a bit of music to that one. Say bye boss. 
I'm gonna check myself now. Anyway, I'm near the road, so I'll catch you in a bit. So, just a tree stump. Not more, not really less. I love a bit of wood. <laughs> I have a small collection of uh, wood items at home. I'd just like to share with you all at some point. Just stand here and watch them clouds move. I've got an old book, um, so great aunt died recently, and um, got one of her old books, it's an old, old encyclopedia from the 70s or 80s, and it's got a little piece in there about um, cloud seeding. There's also a page which has the words Jazz and Sinclair on it. There's another page with an R and a French on it. More coinky dinks. I do. I do believe in coincidence. But sometimes there's coincidence, and then there's just in your face too much of it. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll touch on that one much more deeply at some point, and the future. I'd also like to touch very much on the uh, transgender agenda. I'd like to ask everyone, does, um, do you actually know anyone going through this process, this problem, this diagnosis, this attitude? Do you actually know someone you can speak to about it? Because I do. I have someone very close to me, very close to me, going through this situation and yes this person has been to Tavistock House does it mean what everybody thinks I certainly know that the transgender problem is not a new one it's old as the hills some girls have always wanted to be boys some boys have always wanted to be girls it's not a new thing and it should not be treated as a trend people, yes they need our help but they also need our understanding they're just people for crying out loud they just could call them all demon possessed oh my goodness, come on I've got to go, peace and luck to you all alright, because I've got something to say this is bound to die ok, depopulation agenda I think it's already happened I think the transgender agenda is a, is a small part to play with it. There's the lifestyle choices, career women and men. The baby boomers, born just after the Second World War, was one of the biggest generations ever born. Oh, this is excellent. What a day to come up here. I was just thinking about this. So they were the biggest generation ever. I think they was engineered that way. So that they could be conned. And I'll come back to that one again. But ever since the baby boomers, the generations have been shrinking. They've been shrinking for ever since then. 
And I think the immigration thing was to cover that up. <laughs> I think the mass immigration everywhere is to cover up the depopulation that has already happened. I think it happened scarily well. And why did people not notice? Because we was all getting crammed into the cities, the towns. Hardly anyone lives on the outskirts anymore. I loved it when these guys get their models out. No one lives on the outskirts. Everybody's living in towns. Except for those with money, of course. I bring my kids up here sometimes and uh, we used to bring our own toy model boat, nothing quite like that. <laughs> I honestly think the depopulation agenda already happened. Unless all, unless all the wars are lies, then a lot of people have died elsewhere, haven't they, already? And to keep this Western population down, it just gave us loads of toys to play with. <laughs> no? Is that just me? I can and will go deeper into this. Well, I think the rest of it, Agenda 21, Agenda 30, I think a lot of it is fear-mongering. Don't get me wrong, I honestly believe they're trying to corral us. We've already done it, we're already in the towns and cities. Anybody got any chance of moving out? Lori Gale. <laughs> Do you think your grandchildren will be able to live where you live? Will they be able to resist the lure of the lights? I don't think so. No offence. I hope your grandchildren are very smart kids. I think all these things we're all scared about, worried about, they're all, either it already happened, or they were never meant to happen, but to just keep us distracted. <laughs> Not my day, is it? But you've seen right up my nostril then, haven't you? Sorry about that. But this is where we are, the River Cray. St Mary Cray, St Paul's Cray. This is called the Cray. We've got a little babbling brook. It's all man-maintained. Just like the shepherd and his flock maintaining the sheep. So that's how the old governments and the uh, the elite, the Elites, see themselves, in it, see it, see themselves as our shepherds. Not the black sheep of the family. No, I am the only boy. I have seven sisters. Just give me 